Lehman, can you provide more details about implementation of the recently approved HIP 415, which is the introduction of blocks? And there are um, there are a number of details that they're asking about, but I think you can probably articulate those certainly better than, um, than I. Okay, and I love the question. The question is, wait a second, this HIP says that you're gonna make Hedera look like a blockchain by writing out all this extra information. Every transaction is gonna be written out to a file along with a record that describes what happened. All that information is going to be hashed and we're each, each of these blocks will contain the hash of the previous block. So it'll be chained hashes and there'll be a bunch of signatures on each of these blocks. And then you'll be able to do queries to Hedera and you'll say, tell me the millionth block on your blockchain. Well, we don't have a blockchain, but we'll tell you the millionth file, record file that was streamed out. And it goes all the way back to Genesis. Um, so, you know, for years and years now, uh, it's three or four years, we have it going back. And it will now look like a blockchain going all the way back to the beginning. And so the question was, now wait, how much is that going to slow you down? Can you still do 10,000 TPS if you have to do all this extra work? I love the question because we've been doing that work from day one. We've always been writing out these files and hashing them and including the hash of one in the next one and adding all these signatures on them. We've been doing that from the beginning. That's why the mirror nodes can be trusted or a mirror node can trust that it has the right data. And, uh, and so all we're doing with this HIP is exposing it to the world to make it look like it's a blockchain. Now, when you say, tell me the millionth block in your blockchain, we go to the millionth file, but the files have always been written out. Or if you say, tell me the hash of your millionth block, or tell me the timestamp on your millionth block, we just give you the hash or the timestamp of that file. It just gives you a new way to query what we already had and gives a new view of it, but it's powerful because it lets us interoperate with software that is hard coded to say, tell me the millionth block. I will not work unless you are a blockchain with a millionth block. Now we're a blockchain with a millionth block. Uh, and so it's purely on making this more interoperable and easier to use. It does not change any of the work that we're doing because we've been doing that work from day one. It will not slow us down at all. We do not have to test if it will slow us down. We've been doing it from the beginning. All right, Lehman, so fair to say, looks like a blockchain, walks like a blockchain, performs like a hash graph. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>